G'day. My name is Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 21 of the Fine Art of Distraction. So, with today's episode, I'm revisiting a pour that I've already done before. It's not going to be exactly the same as what I've done before. There is some similarities, but there's also a lot of differences. But before I tell you what I'm going to be doing, I've got to show you the dry result of last week because it turned out so cool. Check this out. How cool is that? It is wicked. <laughs> I absolutely love how this turns out. And someone else that loves how it turned out, Megan. And that's who this is actually for. So I'm absolutely thrilled that Megan loves it. And she sent me through the, the, the funniest photo of her actually watching the video. Uh, it, it is priceless. <laughs> but Megan, I'm so thrilled that you like it. And I can't wait to see it hanging on your house, on your, on your wall. So, you. <laughs> Alrighty, so the pour that I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using my two chamber split cup. Now I actually haven't used this before and I'm going to be doing a ring pour over the top of this bottle bottom. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a ring pour over over this little bad boy. <laughs> and I'm going to be using seven canvases. Ah! <laughs> That's right. I'm going to be using one, two, three, four, Five, six, and seven canvases to do a seven tier wedding cake pour. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, he's gone bananas, he's lost it. Well, yeah, I have. I lost me marbles. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to do it. So now that I've told you what I'm going to be doing today, and I've also showed you the dry result of last week, we'll head over to the table. I'll show you what products I'm going to be using and then we can get going. Thanks guys. Alrighty then. So here's all the products I'll be using today. And as you can see, there's not a lot going on here. I mean, there's a lot of canvases, <laughs> but not a lot of products. The, the pigments that I'll be using today are from Health of Mind Art, which is Rich Gold and also Jet Black. I've mixed those pigments using the Shelly Art recipe. Now, you might notice that I use the Shelly Art recipe quite a lot. And that's because I find that it's the best recipe to use for pigments. I mean, there are other recipes, don't get me wrong, but it's the recipe that I like to use. Um, now, being the Shelly Art recipe, I actually can't let you know the ratio of what the pouring medium is, but I can say that it's made with Joe Sonia's gloss varnish and also Torben's Easy Coat in neutral, but I can't tell you the ratio. Alrighty, but if you want to know the ratio, do yourself a favour, jump on the website and um, do the Shelly Art course, because not only will you learn about the recipe, You'll actually learn about um, the bloom technique and a lot of other things as well. So, yeah, it's well worth doing. The pillow paint, or in this case, the base coat that I'll be using today, is actually from British Paints, and it's Four Seasons Defense Exterior in Low Sheen. And would you guess the color? That's black! <laughs> I love using black as, as my base. And... The reason why I'm only using two colours is because I wanted the gold to really pop. And I thought, what else can it pop on apart from black? So, yeah, so it's literally going to be gold, uh, gold and black ringlets going all the way down the canvas. Well, 
I hope. <laughs> My fingers are crossed. I hope that's what happens. <laughs> As you can see, I've got my hot glue gun there. I'm using the hot glue to actually join the canvases together, um, as I did with the other one. Now, you're probably thinking, hang on, hot glue, that won't actually hold them together all that well. Well, in fact, I'm only using it to hold it in place because once I pour the paint over the top of all the canvases, that paint will actually act as almost like glue and it'll actually hold them together. I will eventually be doing a resin coating on it, but just to prove to you that the hot glue gun plus the paint actually works well together. Here's the original um, wedding cake pour that I did. And as you can see, it's holding together. Even if I hold it upside down. So yeah, so Definitely it is strong enough and then when I put the resin coating on um, it will it will never come apart then <laughs> All right, as I mentioned in the intro I'll be using my two chamber split cup and also the small bottle bottom Okay Now that I've told you what products I'm going to be using today. I'll clear off all of this. I will then Put across lightly across um, all the canvases uh, except for the top one obviously you don't really need it on the top one I put that cross there just so I can line up um, all the canvases on top of each other so then I know that it's exactly in the center when I'm doing it it'll make a lot more sense <laughs> all right guys again now that I've showed you what I'm using I'll clear off all this and then we'll get started Thanks guys. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover from here onwards because unfortunately with all my yous and yes, yes, yeses, I think I've broken my microphone. <laughs> so what I'm actually doing here is I'm going, I'm putting a line from corner to corner. So basically when I put the smaller one on top of the bigger one, I can actually line the corners up with the lines. So then I know it's exactly in center. So if you see here, so boom, right in the middle. Alrighty. So now all, all I got to do now is basically use the hot glue gun, put the hot glue gun on the smaller one, then place it on those lines and then basically just continue the process until all seven are glued together. All right, I'll put some music on and we can all have a bit of a boogie.
Okay, so now what I'm actually doing is I'm going around with the hot glue gun and then putting just a little bit more glue on any areas that look like have lifted up a little bit just to make sure everything's nice and secure. Alrighty then, so now I'm actually just checking the consistency of both colours just to make sure that when I'm actually pouring it out of my double chamber split cup that both colours come out at the same speed. And to actually fill that double chamber split cup, I actually need 600 mils in total, but I actually... Um, opted for a little bit less so in each of these cups there's 270 mils so there's 270 mils of gold and 270 mils of black the reason why I opted for a little bit less was so when I actually pour it out um, the first bit doesn't come out like in a big rush it sort of um, comes out a lot more controlled I hope that makes sense for those that use split cups and do pours, it probably does make a little bit of sense. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm all about eliminating problems before they actually happen. And what I'm actually doing here is I'm straining the base paint as I'm pouring it onto the canvases. So then that actually eliminates any chances of any like glops or goobers actually appearing in the base paint itself. Because the last thing you want is after you've actually poured all your colors and and you spun it out and then you notice that there's a big goober in the middle of it. Sometimes when you try to take that out, it can actually ruin what you've actually done. And sometimes it's in a really good spot. So it's sort of a little bit heartbreaking when that happens. Also, what I like to do is try to pop as many bubbles in the cup as I can before I pour it onto the canvas. So then it just, it reduces the amount of bubbles that will appear um, in your actual pour after you've poured. <laughs> so now what I've got to do is actually find the center of the canvas. And I learned this trick from my good mate, Nate Bright, where you basically just get a piece of string and lightly place it in the paint from corner to corner and it actually leaves a cross um, in the paint without needing to actually get out a ruler or anything like that. So then I know that when I place my bottom bottle on there, it's actually smack bang right in the center. Okay, so that's enough of me talking for a little bit. So wish me luck guys and I'll start pouring.
Alrighty, I'm actually really liking what I'm seeing here at the moment. But what I'm going to be doing is, um, with all the excess paint that I scooped up, I'm going to be pouring it down all of those corners just to fill it all in. Um, you'll see what I'm going to do. <laughs> Okay guys, so I actually didn't realize that my microphone was broken until I was doing the editing, but I actually unplugged my microphone before I got too excited. So you actually do get to hear my pure excitement like normal um, in a second. So don't worry guys, I did unplug the microphone, so it's not gonna be like, like really intense. So enjoy. I tell you what, guys, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah! I mean, this bit here, and that bit there, and that bit there, 
Yeah, not too bad. But I love everything else. I, I actually love how this actually turned out. This is my favorite corner. But I love just the gradation down. I gotta bring you down for a close up. Now, the black that I use, the jet black, actually almost looks blue. <laughs> but I actually don't mind that. I, actually, <laughs> I, I love that it looks blue, to be honest. Yeah, how cool is that? How it just like sort of just goes shoo. It almost looks like a like a guy in like a cloak. Like Darth Vader or not Darth Vader, like the Grim Reaper or something like that. <laughs> yeah! -hoo -hoo! <laughs> trying to put it in the cradle without getting pain on it. <laughs> I must admit, it's not exactly how I have like, envisioned it actually going, but I still actually really love it. I think it looks wicked. It's wicked. Now what I'm actually thinking is going to happen, because I actually poured the excess paint down the side, because it's actually using gold and black pigments, I'm actually thinking that when it when it dries, you're actually going to see like like all all the sort of the, the gold and black um, shimmering down the sides. Well, that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. <laughs> but guys, what do you reckon of this? I've... Oh, I almost swore then. <laughs> I friggin' love it! <laughs> yeah, th this is 
is my this is my favorite favorite side just there. Actually, no, it's this one. <laughs> so I've got two favorite sides. Or three. <laughs> one, two, three. Actually, now that it's actually starting to sort of um, come through, I'm actually seeing more of the gold. Like, down the sides. Which is really cool. Guys, I'm stoked with how this turned out. Yeah! Alright guys, I just want to thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I had a lot of fun, yet again, a lot more fun! <laughs> and if you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. I'd love it if you give us a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, and you feel like subscribing, hit the subscribe button, but, I, uh, but also hit the little dark bell and that'll indicate when I actually upload new videos. And if you think any of your friends or family might like to see this insane creation, <laughs> please forward it on to them. I'd love for them to have a look at it as well. All right, guys, I just want to thank you again for joining me. I had a lot of fun and this is the fine art of distraction.